out on the KCRA 3 patio getting ready for the 52nd annual Greek Food Festival. I was just telling Eleni Berniotis that I have been looking forward to this all morning. I love Greek food. I can't believe you guys actually use 800 pounds of butter. 800 pounds. So much cooking. Baklava, oh my God. Greek cookies, um, spanakopita, tiropitas, which is what I'm doing today. Oh my goodness. Yeah, wow. I'm yeah. just going to forget about that and yeah. just enjoy the food. Ignore, ignore. Cause, yeah, you know, because Greek food and, and Mediterranean style eating, it's very healthy for it's you. It can healthy. be, mm -hmm. some things. All right, so what are we making again? I'm going to let you say it. Okay, we are making tiropitas. And how is that different from spanakopita? Because so they look the same. They look the same, yes, absolutely. The filling. So the filling is um, feta cheese, uh -huh. cream cheese, um, eggs, and then I put some dill in there. All my favorite things. Yes. Let's get started. So, okay. what do you start with? So, you start with a filo, and the filo is kind of mm -hmm. tricky because it tends to break, mm -hmm. and so you have to be kind of gentle with it. And there's the butter we were and talking about. There's the about. butter. There's yeah. Here's part. Do you here's have a favorite brand of butter? I know that's a random question, but sometimes there's so many options in the grocery store, and I'm always curious. You know, I would just get the unsalted. Unsalted. With okay. the, whatever it is, unsalted. Mm -hmm. That's what I was well, doing. So there you go. You just eliminated half for me. Yeah. Now. You're <laughs> not going to stand it. there as long. Exactly. Okay, unsalted okay. butter. Unsalted butter. So now I'm going to have you scoop a little scoop. Okay. So this is the, the feta, uh -huh. the cream right cheese, there. everything that is wonderful in life. That's Egg. Okay. And dill, you said? Egg and dill. Mm -hmm. that's, that's pretty the easy. Right there, the dill. Did I do the right amount? Um, or is that too much? It's a little too much, but that's okay. We're going to make it work. This is how I make everything it. with too much. That's all right. That's okay. It's good. <laughs> and then you kind of you want to butter it up again. Oh, every time. Every, I know. I know. This is why they're so yummy. Right. I can't even imagine. I'm learning how to make baklava next week, and yes. I can only imagine yes. what's going into it's, that. Baklava. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's you're, a lot. You're, you're gonna have a lot of butter there. <laughs> exactly. You're making a big pan, so that's gonna be lots of butter. Uh -huh. um, so you just keep folding, keep folding and it, buttering. And buttering, folding and buttering, mm -hmm. and then that's the end result. And then how do you cook these? And then you put them in the oven. Um, you, do, you don't put them like in a fryer because they look like they're fried. No, but they're, they're not. They're, they're just baked. baked. Mm -hmm. Well, that's healthier. It is healthy. Yeah, exactly. That's what I keep saying too, the healthy. So you throw it in the oven for um, at 350 for about 15, 20 minutes, kind of mm -hmm. depending on your oven. Mm -hmm. These were done in about 15 minutes in my oven. Oh, they look so delicious. Really Should I try good. one? Absolutely. Okay, wait, I'll wait. I don't want to crunch, crunch while we're talking crunch. about okay. this. Um, and then you also brought in um, a Greek salad. I did. This is just my favorite. And this is why the Mediterranean diet is known to be so healthy. Correct. I probably added a little bit more fat though. So what do you diet. what do you what do you put in your Greek salad? So in my Greek salad I do um, cucumbers, tomato, mm -hmm. uh, red onions, uh, green bell peppers, mm. olive oil, salt, pepper, and oregano. And then I'm gonna have to ask you Obviously this. Do you have a favorite olive oil brand? I'm sorry, but these are the things these that I'm thinking important. about at okay. the grocery store. No, if you don't know off the top of your head, that's you okay. You know, I have um, I'm a little biased. My family owns a restaurant in Portland, and yeah. they import their own olive oil. Oh, so I'm a little lucky. Which, I get. which brand is it? Um, it's a Lexus. Uh -huh. Lexus. See, you knew so the brand. I knew, I knew the brand. See, that's, the, that's what I'm uh -huh. talking about, though. Uh -huh. I, of course, the Greek dessert. The Greek desserts, of course. Oh my goodness. Uh, and I want to also add everything you can buy at the Greek festival. Mm -hmm. uh, we're there all weekend. Okay. So tonight, all the way through the whole weekend. At the convention center. At the convention center. All right. Um, we start at noon today, and we'll go to about 11. Um, Friday, Saturday, and then. And Sunday. All weekend all long, time. Sacramento Convention is a great place to take the whole family and then you can fill them up and then your kids are going to be complaining that they're hungry. Yep. Afterwards, which Absolutely. is always my favorite. And then you can buy extra to take home. Yeah. All right.